All right, so today is, what day is today? 19th Thursday, and we're officially beekeepers. Our bees came in the mail today. We got two packages, and this is what they look like. It scared all the people at the post office. And these are our hives. They're called top bar hives. We chose the top bar method from Gold Star Honeybees. And this is our spot we're gonna shake the bees into. And we've got um, a piece of comb um, hanging down from one of the bars and it's supposed to make them think that it's a bee home so they don't just fly up and vanish on us and then we also last night painted this is the bars for the top bar we painted the bottom with um, beeswax to help them think that this is going to be their new home and not fly away on us and then what else did we do oh yeah on this side is a bee feeder and we've got one to one ratio of sugar to water by weight um, in here to feed them because they don't have any way of um, feeding themselves immediately since they're just in um, packages and what else we've got our bee garb very exciting masks gloves boots these are very scary. What else? Oh yeah, we got a water so the bees can have some water. Your phone is gonna fall over. got the bottle that they came in with sugar syrup and he got it out of there and we're putting it in the side where the feeder is just in case there's some bees on there you want to spray him again no I just need to get the oh, yeah, green to So that's the queen gauge, and we take it out of the bee package, and then Andrew's going to... You want to see her? We examine it, and i got to get a screw to take out the... If you're looking there, she's got a red dot on her, she's marked. <laughs> She's alive, yay! Because you need a queen. If you don't have a queen, you don't got a hive. That's good. She's happy and pissed. See that cork? See the cork. So Andrew's gonna put that screw in to pull out the cork. Just like a wine bottle. And then in between there, there's candy that the bees will eat through. And then by the time they eat through it, they'll have accepted the queen. Hopefully. Here's a push pin. This is the hard part. It's hard to make a hole with this push pin in this little piece of metal. Here's the cool part. This little bee cone that we got um, from Christy Hemingway. Um, it looks like they love it. They're already like all over it. So that's probably going to help 
encourage them to stay here instead of flying off. Smash any of these bees. It's hard. Put that right between here and make it easier. There we go. I didn't know think of that earlier. So you want to run on put wax on? Yeah. So Andrew's just attaching the queen cell to one of the top bars. It's hard wood. Look at that. Look at that. Cool. And now we're going to bonk the bees. <laughs> it's a scientific term. It means bonk. It comes from the root word bonking. <laughs> and it makes all the bees go to the bottom. Because then he's just going to turn it over. And he's going to pour all the bees in there. Whoa. It's raining bees. Hallelujah, it's rain and bees. Yeah, shot down in that hive. Look how many bees are in there. Man. It's like 10,000 bees in this box. <laughs> Thank God I have a suit on. He's a few, few pounds worth of bees. <laughs> so the queen's in there. And we just shook in maybe, I don't know, 60% of the bees. The rest are all flying all around us, all excited about what we're doing. So the entrance of our hives is right there, <laughs> and we were told to place that there's more bees in there, but they'll smell the rest of their, they'll smell their queen, I guess, and the rest of the hive, and they'll come over here. And now everything's in there. You don't have to squish anybody. There's a squish guy right there. So we're putting the bees in the middle of this top bar hive and there's 10 bars in the middle and 10 on each side. So we're not using that side, that's the empty part. And that part has the sugar water, the one to one uh, ratio of sugar to water by weight. And then here's a We've got three holes, um, and we've got only one opened. And I guess that's it. The last step is put the top on. Nobody, nobody got stung. Nobody got stung yet. Nobody's got in your suit. <laughs> Thank God. Yet. Yet. <laughs> Here's the top. What's great about this hive that we like a lot, and the bees probably like a lot too, is... Um, it came, the lady paints it with non-toxic paint. And the wood she uses is, doesn't have any. Uh, anyway, doesn't have any binders, formaldehyde, or bromide, because she just uses solid wood, which is good, because the bees don't like that. Um, anyways, the other cool things we did were, um, Andrew thought about, he stakes down the sides of the hive, the legs, because we get some winds here, so that'll help keep it sturdy. And we also put, um, there's little concrete pavers underneath there to keep it 
um, to make sure it's all nice and leveled up. And that's it. Good work, honey. We're officially beekeepers. Good work. <laughs> And this is our bee yard. We've got two hives. And these are our bee watchers, Chief and Millie. They're hanging out as if nothing happened. <laughs> Anyways, we fenced in our bee yard to keep out um, pigs. We have lots of wild pigs here. And um, also our cows would probably come over and probably try to rub up on it. And there's a, a water. The bees always have water. Anyways, that's it. Oh yeah. Look, you can see our homestead in the background. That's our garden and our house over there. There's Andrew. And there's our two beehives. And we picked a spot that's shady because in Texas we get very hot, hot, hot weather. And we also picked, um, we're facing them, the openings are facing south east. So then they get a little, they might get a little bit of morning sun, um, but that's it because we put them underneath um, pine trees to keep them cool because it's hot here. Anyway, that's it. <laughs>